everyone. So, this is my husband. He recently joined the teaching profession, so he and I are often discussing pedagogy or lesson ideas at home. One night, as we're having dinner, he remarks to me, you know, teaching's a lot like coding. Of course this intrigues me, so I say, oh, how so? And he explains, if you give instructions to the students in the wrong order, or you miss a step, they shut down or completely go haywire. So at that moment, this image appears in my head. A bunch of robotic students short-circuiting and sparks flying everywhere. And let's not forget the panicked teacher in the front of the room. This reminded me of my first year as a technology integrator. No matter how carefully I planned my lessons or how diligently I thought I had delivered my instructions, the students kept sending me this message. System failure imminent. System failure imminent. Which in real life translates to this scene. From all four corners of the room, students shouting at me, Miss A, what do I do next? So I thought to myself, all right, they're young, give them time. They can't read my anger charts yet. But time went on, and no matter how I tried to reconfigure my formula for teaching, the program kept crashing. System failure. So then I decided to take a reflective journey back to my days in the kindergarten classroom, when I, more specifically, to reading workshop. And I thought to myself, well, if the book equals technology, and the reader equals the user, then you should be teaching the user. Otherwise, you're just teaching the tech. It suddenly became clear. The Teachers College Reading and Writing Workshop promotes that you should be teaching the reader, not the book. So then in technology, logically, I should be teaching the user, not the tech. It didn't matter if my tool had changed from the book to technology. I was still a teacher of literacy. So now, when I approach a new tool or a new app, I ask three questions. The first, what knowledge will my students need to know in order to be successful? The second, what skills are they going to need in order to acquire that knowledge? And the third, can I provide a strategy that will build independence? My kids are on iPads a lot, so a piece of knowledge that they do need to know is that icons have a function, such as the share arrow means share, and the plus sign means add something new. So then, they need the skill of being able to derive meaning from images. So then I created this strategy. If you don't know how to do something on the iPad, first, read the screen. What icons can you see? Then ask, what could they mean? Next, does it make sense? And finally, tap and test it. You see, no matter what you teach or how old your students are, we're all still teachers of literacy. Even as international educators navigating a foreign country, we're still trying to figure out our environment. So how are you providing your students with the knowledge, skills, and strategies to be successful? Now, you could say that I debugged my code by moving from teaching the tech to teaching the user. And guess what? I prevented system failure. Can you? Thank you.